I must say, our show going off the air has to only mean one thing. Racism is solved. <laughs> we did it. We did it. The nightly show with Larry Wilmore is gearing up for its last laugh. Comedy Central says it's canceling the late night show after about a year and a half of poor ratings as viewership figures were down 27% from last year and 60% from the final season of the show it replaced, The Colbert Report, according to Nielsen. Comedy Central president Ken Alterman concedes the show just didn't resonate. And as Steven Perlberg, a writer for WSJ's CMO blog, says, for a show where politics is a major theme, if you can't resonate during the election season, it's probably not going to work out. So wrong. So. The network says it sees upside with Trevor Noah's Daily Show, though that show is also Welcome down. Welcome to the Daily Show. Ah. Welcome. Welcome to the Daily Show. With me, Trevor Noah. To be precise, compared with predecessor John Stewart's results, it's down 40% among the key 18 to 49-year-old demographic. The cancellation of Wilmore's show and the ongoing challenges Noah's show is experiencing are part of a broader story of the late-night television vacuum, where the departure of popular names like John Stewart and Stephen Colbert from the late-night cable comedy scene have left a dwindling group of hosts fighting for viewers, especially young viewers. And it appears the satirical political comedy format is where many relative newcomers are headed. New faces going after the same audience as Comedy Central include Daily Show alumni Samantha Bee and John Oliver, who have found success at TBS and HBO. He will bring it to you as it happens. Not so much as it happens as eventually. Like all cable networks, Comedy Central is under pressure to deliver hits and give parent company Viacom more firepower in negotiations with the cable and satellite companies. Those pay TV providers are looking to cut their programming costs as they worry that rising bills are spurring consumers to cut the cord. To be sure, the odds of Wilmore surpassing Colbert's program in such a short window were long. According to Nielsen, so far this year, the program is averaging just 724,000 viewers. Comedy Central's Alterman said Wilmore's lack of momentum worried the network. One memory that's likely to stay in the public's consciousness is Wilmore's hosting of the White House Correspondents' Dinner, a plum assignment that was expected to generate interest in his 1130 show until it was widely criticized for jokingly calling President Barack Obama the N-word during one of his stand-up routines. So, Mr. President, if I'm going to keep it 100, yo, Barry, you did it, my nigga. <laughs> did it. <laughs> Thank you very much. The final episode of Wilmore's show will be this Thursday. For now, he'll be replaced by At Midnight, a comedy improv show.